So I blacked out on Thursday. Okay, um, all right. You're right. You've been <laughs> drunker than I am more times in the last month than I've seen in our know, relationship. I know. Is this a trend? Let's go home. I almost just started the vlog. I forgot what our intro was. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the pod. That's, I don't remember what play. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> oh, did you workshop that? Like, was that the very first thing that came out of your mouth? Did you think about it? Uh, no, I don't think I thought about it. Like some people have like very specific like intros. Right. Like Tiff has like, what is freaking up you guys? Or, hey guys, what's up it's Tiff? What is freaking up you guys? You know what I mean? It's like different, like people have had very specific intros, but I feel like I've never, I've never been drawn to something. Okay. Welcome yeah. back to the pod. Welcome back to the pod. Hey ladies. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hey ladies in our 4% male audience. I how see. are we doing? Jim, Steven, Chris, how are you? You're all here. Thank you so much for joining us. I, I think we probably have, okay, but by the numbers, there's realistically a few thousand guys. Which is fucking shocking. That's the But crazy. also I feel like you're not taking into account the boyfriends, fiancés and husbands mm. of uh, some of the Tillies that we have that listen with their significant other. If you are a boyfriend, significant other, uh, partner of such uh, that is listening with your girlfriend, mm -hmm. wife, Anything mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. I need you to get in your device. I need you to hit subscribe. <laughs> I need you to download because- We need the comment to come from David. Well, we need to come, to come from David, but also I want both a stream from both sets of ears. That's true. Right. That's a little bit greedy, but I get it. It's greedy, but you know. Yeah, uh, I understand. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to the pod. Um, We have some groundbreaking news, which is actually very convenient timing to confirm that our hundredth episode will be from a moving vehicle because, boo, 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 Drum roll, please. I bought a Toyota Camry. Shboob. Can you imagine if I did buy a Toyota Camry? We've been waiting 14 months for this announcement and that's how you're gonna do it? Well, you know what's funny? I love that- What's funny? <laughs> so first off, the, 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 the random text that was like, hey, it's ready for delivery. I feel like I, I mm -hmm. half believed. Right. And then when I got a call from Tesla yeah. on like my, my call ID, I'm not gonna, I was in the middle of a work meeting. I just go, everyone hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like usually it'd be like, I'll, I'll call them back. Yeah, like everyone yeah. stop. Everyone like, shut up. It was like nine people. Right. I don't care what you're the president of. I don't care my Tesla takes priority right I, now. Everyone just hold on. Yeah. And I even left it so that they could hear the speakerphone of, this is from Tesla. Um, your your vehicle is ready to be delivered. I feel like that makes it more okay that you put everyone on hold. I did. Yeah. And I got done and everyone was like, oh, how exciting. That's amazing. It's great. Like everyone was really in on that two minute moment with me. We'll wait for you to be done. Check out my bendy straw with the uh, Hawaiian this, it came in, I just want everyone like to know. straw with a skirt. All my reusable straws are currently dishwasher. So I'm not out here killing turtles, but this did come in a How party How is that pack. possible? We have 30 reusable straws. We need to do some, some dishwasher. No, we don't, we don't. Uh, so this is really disgusting. So we have these like really fun silicone ones. I have a thing where I like can't put my mouth on like metal. It's like we're metal. testing people. Like how big of a fan are you? Like how much <laughs> are you willing to put through before we get to anything interesting? <laughs> so I like have this thing where I like can't put my mouth on metal. Like I, my teeth can't touch forks, spoons, knives. I can, there's I can bite into ice cream, but there's just no world where like, like a metal, a metal straw like gives me the creepy crawlies. It gives me the ache, it gives me the goosey woosey. The idea of it like hitting your, my like teeth. teeth, yeah, uh, so I can't do it, I can't question. do it. Is there, a, there's gotta be a name for this. Well, it's it's like nails on chalkboard. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just like your your goosey thing. Right, but you know, like, like, like there's right, like, like a- fe But it's, it's not a fear, cause like fear of small, I guess I'm not scared of small holes. They just make me itchy. Itchy? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like small it makes holes you, make you itchy? <laughs> like when you have tryptophobia, it's, it's like the fear, the uncomfort around those small repeated holes. Right, it makes you itchy? Like itchy, it makes like your skin crawl. Okay. You know what I mean? All right, no, I get it. Anyway, so the silicone reusable straws, I had to throw a bunch out because when they were going through the dishwasher, food would get stuck inside of them in the dishwasher. And so they'd come out not super yeah. clean because there'd be something lodged inside of it. It was really disgusting. So we don't have that many reusable straws right now. I have more on the way coming from Amazon. So I, pro I, just, I just, wanna, just wanna crush the rumors that Lordy always a straw killer where we are stopping in its tracks. Chris, nip, it, nip it in the bud. Chris, Steve, thanks for joining us for the first two minutes. <laughs> Hi, head on back to your day. Oh, fuck. Um, wait, Gera? Garaphobia? Gerophobia? Gerophobia, <gasps> that's what girls had in seventh grade of me, I'm pretty sure. That's what they had of you? Yeah. Gerophobia? Yeah. Wow, that's fucking good. That thanks. was funny, babe. Thanks, babe. That was funny. It hurt at the time. Once in a while. Yeah. You know, you got a banger joke. That's a good one. Gerophobia. Yeah. Uh, let's laugh at my <laughs> pretty That's very existence. funny. Speaking of pre when did you hit puberty? There's a, there's a random question. 
Your fucking car. Can we talk oh. about your car? Oh my God, we've been waiting and you've been complaining on the podcast. People are emotionally invested. Yeah, but now I have it. I told What's people next? in the Discord, they were like, can you give us a hint? We're talking about on today's pod. Also shout out Discord, big fan today. We talked about Bibble. You know who Bibble is? Bibble? 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 Bibble. So Bibble. How do you spell Bibble? Can B- I give it a sentence? B-I-B-B-L-E. Country of origin. So original Bibble, Canada. New okay. Bibble, America. Okay. So original Bibble was part of the, uh, which I just found it was a Canadian kid show called, uh, um, oh fucking, Polka Dot, Polka Dot Shorts. I love no, that. Oh, no, wait, no, Polka, Polka Dot Door, Polka Dot Door, Polka Dot Door. It's, anyway, there was this character That's named, like a, a word generator name. <laughs> Polka, Polka Dot, Dot Door. Door. <laughs> oh, his name was Pokeroo. He lived at the, uh, the Polka Dot Door. There was a character named Bibble. Please let me know if you know who Bibble is. So this is OG Bibble. And so the new Bibble, Apparently in the Barbie series, which I have not seen, I think I might've been just a little bit too old when all those movies and shows came out. There's this new like weird little creepy baby fairy named Bibble. Who is- what are you talking about? <laughs> like I I thought for a second, I was like, I've had three sips of this can. Yeah, so there's original Bibble, that, that's Pokeroo and original Bibble. I'll put, I'll, pick, I'll put a picture of OG Bibble on screen. And then I'll also put a picture of new Bibble on screen. Who's like this weird little blue baby fairy who I actually find very, very disturbing. I, am I stoned or what are we talking about? We're talking about Bibble. Okay, why? Okay, so at Discord, you talked about Bibble? No, okay, so- And how does this relate to the Model S that's I was in the just driveway? saying that people were really excited on the Discord, we're talking about Bibble, but also sometimes talking about how your car is coming. People were excited and emotionally invested. Well- Go ahead, the car is here. Tell us about the car. Well, uh, what I want to tell you about is the fact that I gave you the honor of something very important. You haven't come through and I've decided to take away that honor and give it to the Tillies. Bibble. What are we going to name the car? Bibble. We're not naming it Bibble. Why? I refuse. Babe. No. You told me that I could name it. I want to name it Bibble. Uh, I reject. Mm. I should get two vetoes. What? I guess you get two vetoes, not counting Bibble. Not counting Bibble. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll workshop it. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to, Do you want suggestions? No, I'm I'm going back and forth between whether I want to do like a really basic white guy white guy name like okay. um like um Sven or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like a, actually, that's not that basic. That's kind of that's, how many, just how many Svens do you know? Just the reindeer. Just the reindeer. Yeah, yeah. just the reindeer. Okay. <laughs> um, I so, say, Sven Lewis. It's a great name. Yeah, except for that kid's not going to be as exotic as the name sounds. You know what I mean? Mm, exotic, that's a fun word. Yeah. Cultured, diverse. <laughs> I, th- I just think it's great that you think my son would be exotic. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the name Sven is like too unique and our child would be very basic looking. Yeah, I think it's more like vanilla Lewis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah like maybe, maybe like uh, French vanilla, mm. Tahitian. I'm not sure who you think is Tahitian in this relationship, but it's neither of Isn't us. Isn't Tahitian vanilla? Did I make that up? I, I was basing the names off of like our ethnicities. And I was basing it off of our personalities. <laughs> Right, okay. Anyway, um, so I would love for the comments below to name the Model S. It's black with more black, which means every time a fingerprint is in the same zip code, it now looks like a, a smushed notepad with people have just been touching all day. Uh, I can't wait to re- uh, leave you messages on the hood of the car. Oh, yeah, I, I, by the way, you should do yeah. that because it'll bully me into getting it washed. Yeah, we also don't have a garage that actually fits cars. Well, we do. Okay, I have a fucking bone. I think we've talked about this. I have a bone to pick with the West Coast, maybe just California. Okay. Where I don't understand when people don't have basements, where you put your shit. I've said this so many times. I don't understand without a basement, like where do people put their Christmas trees? Where do people put their wrapping paper? Like there's like everything just goes into the basement into like a, a shelving rack. You also have um, a struggle with parting with things. So like there's, <laughs> there's always a, a new insurgence of new things. Uh-huh. There's the things that are kind of out of, array that you don't care as much about. Yes. There are the things that have been so out array that they got put in to a storage bin of sorts. And mm-hmm. then the container mm-hmm. store bin gets emptied out. That stuff gets sent to you know Goodwill. And then we start that cycle over one step. Right. Right. I still don't understand where people put their Christmas trees. Like every time we go to empty something out, you're always like, oh, th- I can't <laughs> believe I fit this in my Honda Fit seven years ago and I moved to, to California. And I'm like, <laughs> How do you still have this shit? Because Honda fits uh, fit a surprising, a shocking Had amount. Had it been two more weeks, I'd have one. Oh my God. Honestly, Honda fit was a great car. I highly recommend, I loved it. I, I, I can zip around I, in that thing. I've never felt dumber yeah. and more of a boomer than trying to figure out how to drive a Tesla. Yeah, I almost, um, my, no my heart almost fell out of my asshole when Jeremy floored the Tesla. Holy shit, that thing goes, there's just no reason why a car needs to go that fast in I've, like that many seconds. I've never owned a police radar. Yeah. I'm getting one. You have to. Yeah, honestly, just to like have it like yell at me when I'm going over the speed limit. Mm-hmm. Otherwise I will have 
nine speeding tickets because I'm going to get coffee. It literally felt like like back in the back in the day when I was young and I was able to do carnival rides. Uh -huh. Do you remember that ride that was yes. like just like the round cylinder and you literally just stand up against it yep. and it spins and like goes on its side and upside down and you just like G-force into the wall? Yeah, earmuffs. I saw someone puke on that and just hit everybody. That's my literal worst nightmare. Yeah. No, that no. is that if if there's hell for you, that's it. That's what it is. Just one long but actually it happens, you have to get off the ride and then get back on the ride. Why back on? Cause you know, it's gonna happen again. That would be hell. Oh, that's my hell. Yeah. Oh, oh, the I, anticipatory, I, I thought that I, it happens. Yes. You get off and, and do then, it one more yes, time. Yeah. One yeah, more time. Yeah. One more time. Right. Hey, yeah. I hate all What that. would my hell be? Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> probably something that, like if I got cloned 20 times and I was all Sounds 20 like of heaven. us were asking for different things from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 asking for something that I, I've already like given you the answer to. No, 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 half of them would be, yes, like things that I've already yeah. gotten the answer to, but then the other half would be like, can you grab me the pizza containers from like the high place in the kitchen? But that's Shwoop. endearing. From 10 of us? <laughs> less yeah. endearing. How many less of endearing. them do I have relations with? Um. Oh my God, actually, I, mean, I, I, already, I already thought about it. I'm 30 years old, I, one is one. fine. <laughs> I was picturing more like, remember in Doctor Strange when there's like one real Doctor Strange, but he can uh, clone himself and you yeah. don't know which one's the real one. Yeah, I think it's like that. Like there can be 20 of us all being annoying, but you actually only have one of me. Got it, okay. That sounds like the best of both worlds. I I, I refrain. You uh, know how much I could get done if I had 20 of me? I think you guys would have a great time on the couch talking about nothing or napping together most of the time. Or you know how much, you know how many Tiki Talks that I could watch and- I actually think you'd be, I think you'd be consume. so competitive with yourself. You'd look over and be like, why does she look better than me? Or, why does that, that? Why are they able to do that? Who, who, you would be so incredibly competitive with the same version of yourself. It would just be this like vicious cycle. Yeah, maybe one's okay. I would be, I think, um, painfully not competitive with myself and slightly a little bit too comfortable. And that would be even more annoying. Yeah, I think you'd, um, I think you'd be pissed at yourself. Go on. I think you'd just be like rude to yourself. Go on. I think you'd just be like, shut the fuck up. Like, I feel Why like- Why would I got, say that? <laughs> Why was that the first thing that came in your mind? Because it's what I hear all the time. Oh, to you? <laughs> no, no, not to me. But just like your oh, general patience with mm. everyone is- is Oh, please. Is I have patience for some people. Some people. Some people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but your general patience is very short. It's very short. And so- I would say I'm decisive. You're decisive in not having patience for people, yes. Uh, yeah, I've decidedly- um, <laughs> Been written. annoyed with everyone. Well, there are certain things that don't need to take that long. Right. So anyways, <laughs> um, Jeremy is, is it, your patience is about a hair thin. And okay. so I think that you would lose patience with yourself as well. I have, I have very little patience for adults. I, have, I can no. have- what do you mean? Screaming babies, screaming babies. I used to teach kids how to play drums. That that, that took a, a a wealth of patience. Yeah, I, I feel like yeah, that's 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 like snubble. That's like yeah. small child banging on loud things. Oh, here, here's a, a surface that's really loud. Here's a stick to hit it with. Go ahead. Yeah, that sounds like my nightmare. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. Um, so Tesla's here. Hundredth episode happening in the Tesla. Can't wait. Yeah. Do we drive around or do we just sit in the driveway? Sex tape backseat. The back seat is not big enough for that. Honest question. When's the last time you had coitus in a car? Estimate. Interesting noise. It's my thinking noise. Yeah, really? Um, I don't hear it often. Honestly? Yes. Maybe like 2000 and- Oh God. 14 or 15 maybe? Long time ago. We met in 20. Oh yeah. Eight. 20, 2018. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's been a while, like college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, been, even, like, but even then, I don't even know college. Like I'm too tall. Yeah, you're too tall. I'm too tall. You're too tall. There's just no world where that's ever comfortable. Well, that's one of those things you have to do when you're young enough to not know better. So yes. that way you know better. Yes. As Maya Angelou said, when you know better, you do better. And that's what it applied to. That's, that's what it applies to. And a few to. other things, but mostly that. That's what that applies to. So I have a car. You have a car. We have been sharing a car for a pandemic in a year. A, a pandemic in two years. Yeah, I was gonna say our entire relationship. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, like there has not been, there have been very few times there's an overlap. Yeah. Ever, with both of us working from home. But also I, 
have, whether we share the car or not, I don't think about, oh, I'll just take the car, she'll figure it out. Cause I know you're not great with Ubers. Mm. Lauren has a, um, a, a keen sense of, and I'm sure other people feel the same way. Uh, the air freshener that hangs in Ubers. Oh. When we get in, oh I immediately God. have to go, oh God, oh. It's, it's terrible. Oh God, there's, I, I immediately car sick. There's, a, there's been a few times, only if, I, if I'm about to be like on a trip that's gonna be longer than 25, 30 minutes where I've had to just end the trip. Because I, no, I just immediately- I'm good right here. It, it's like 35 minutes. Yeah. I'm good right there. Yeah. I think there's been ones where I was like, hey, like, I'm so sorry. I'm so scent intolerant. I was like, this is not personal, but I have to cancel the ride and get a different Uber. It, yeah, and I feel bad because a lot of people like put those in their cars trying to be courteous to people. Cause they're like, oh, this will smell like, at least this is like a designated scent. Doesn't just smell like, like random ass. Well, you know what I mean? Also, I have a feeling that half of them, somebody gets in their car and they go, oh, I need an air freshener to be able to like put up with that. Oh, a hundred percent. And so like, yeah. I get it. I'm just so sense sensitive. Amber alert? I think Amber alert doesn't give a fuck. I took mine off. Did you see that there was an Amber Alert that went off during Amber Heard's final- uh, like An Amber Alert during Amber- Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, wow. Are you getting Endangered a elderly? Aww. Right. Wait, oh, Silver Alert. I didn't even know the thing. Also, why haven't I gotten one? <laughs> Damn. You, also, I love that it deep links to Twitter. Very interesting. Wow, interesting. Um, I didn't know Silver Alert is a thing. Silver alert. Oh, is that cause like old people like old gray hair, silver hair? Yeah. Do you think? This guy, uh, well, he probably had silver hair. Right. Actually, wow, interesting. Wow. I, I would love to know like what, what qualifies as the ember. Like if, if my kid is missing yeah. for a week or so, I might head in. If your kid is missing for more than, I don't know, seven minutes. Uh -huh. Like if Moose was out of your sight and we couldn't find him after six minutes. Yes. Would you expect the FBI, CIA, Fuck yes. Guard, Are just, you kidding me? Yes. Yeah. Bring out every force you have. Yeah. Yeah. Just for us 100%. to find them like 20 minutes later, eating yes. a snack around the bed. As I get older, I realize that I am genuinely so interested in listening to the stories my parents have from their past. I thought that I like knew, knew my parents, but one day we were chatting, heard a story I've never heard before. And that got me wondering how many other stories don't I know? And that's why I got my parents' story worth. Okay, a bit of a, 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 a little bit of tangent here, but I got story worth from my mom this last Mother's oh, Day. Oh, story worth is made for Donna. Okay, but the crazy thing is like, I gave it to her. She was like trying to figure it out. And when she realized what it was, like she was, oh, I'm, I'm so excited. And she then like breaks down in tears, wishing that she had it from her mom. Mom? Yeah, she texted me about that. And then two or three days later, she hit me and was like, I realized that you having this for me kind of fulfills the same thing. So I'm just so excited that like I get to do this for, I don't know. It was like this very sweet, sweet moment. Story with is an online service that helps you and your dad or father figure connect through sharing stories and memories and preserves them for years to come. Every week, Story Worth emails your dad a thought provoking question of your choice from a vast pool of possible options. Each unique prompt asks questions you've never thought about, like what imperfections do you secretly love about mom? Or how do you decide when to have children? I've so enjoyed reading my dad's answers. After one year, Story Worth compiles all those questions and stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that the whole family can share for generations. I got Got my story worth book maybe a couple months ago and one, it is stunning. It is so cute and I love having the photos. My dad is not a man of many words, but these stories have been so incredible hearing about his stories from high school and growing up and the vacations that he went on with his family. And it's turned out to be a heartwarming experience. Give all the fathers in your life a meaningful gift you can both cherish for years to come. StoryWorth, right now, for a limited time, you could save $10 on your first purchase when you go to storyworth.com slash wild till nine. That's S-T-O-R-Y-W-O-R-T-H dot com slash wild till nine. To save $10 on your first purchase, storyworth.com slash wild till nine. We have been in an absolute travel frenzy recently. I think we've already taken more trips this year than we did last year. I, I know that actually for a fact. And away suitcases have made it a lot less stressful. I saw this meme the other day about how you can wear the same thing every day of the week, but when you are packing for a trip, it's like, mm, should I bring my extra ball gown? And I have never related to anything more. And overpacking is one of my absolute strong suits and away allows me to continue this habit when um, other people want me to change. You act as if there's ever been a time when the ball gown wasn't already in the suitcase when you thought about doing another ball gown. I need the ball gown. Yeah, well, anyway, luckily 
Every Away suitcase comes with an interior organization system that includes a built-in compression pad to help you pack more in and a hidden and removable laundry bag that separates your dirty clothes, which is by far one of my favorite features. My uh, my old method was actually just bringing a grocery bag and stuffing everything into the grocery bag so that it didn't have to touch the clean clothes. Thank you, Away. <laughs> All Away suitcases are built to last with durable exteriors that can stand even the roughest of baggage handlers. And they have four 360 degree spinner wheels guaranteed for the smoothest roll, even through the most hectic of airports and stations. Plus they come with a TSA approved combination lock, which keeps all of your belongings safe. Which for whatever reason, the last four times we've flown in a row Stop. seems to need to be a thing that they check everything that is Lauren's. I, I'm not kidding. The last, I think six for six of the last flights, I've had my bag checked. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but you're being targeted for something. Away has a 100 day trial on everything they make and offer free shipping and returns. So Tilly's, you really have no excuse not to try out an Away suitcase for your next trip. Start your 100 day trial and shop the entire Away lineup of travel essentials, including their best selling suitcases at awaytravel.com slash wild. That's awaytravel.com slash wild. Um, so back to the thing that I, not that we're gonna talk about now, but I've decided we have to. I, the simulation must be real, I've decided. Because between Amber Hood's, Heard's Amber Alert thing uh -huh. and uh, Live Aid today. Oh yeah, that's yeah. so weird. I don't know when the last time I talked about Live Aid. I haven't thought about Live Aid probably since- I watched Queen. The, yeah, since uh, yeah, the Queen Rhapsody, exactly. And I was having a conversation at work today about a, a similar thing. And then Devin walks in and immediately talks about the Live Aid concert. Why is that? How is that? I have what no are the, idea. What are the chances? And how many times I feel like does that thing happen? We're like, what are the fucking chances? I still haven't gotten my silver alert. Well, I think it's because you like have yours on like, um, you don't care mode. And maybe it's on Canada mode. Do you just not they don't care about elderly there? I guess not. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, I completely did not hear what you said because I was thinking about how I didn't get my silver alert. Do you think we live in a simulation? Oh, um, sometimes. Really? But like, no, I feel like baseline- Put the topics off? Go ahead. Baseline, no. Baseline, no. I don't think so. You don't think we live in a simulation? No. Okay. I don't think Chicken so. Chicken or egg? Egg. Okay, got it. And that answers all my questions. <laughs> so uh, hell is uh, being puked on at a, at a carnival. Uh, chicken or egg first? Egg. And no simulation? Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah. Are you chicken or egg? Assembly theory would say that something had to make the egg. Yeah. But if one is just dropping out of the fucking sky. No, egg for sure. Yeah, I think egg. Yeah, egg for sure. Well, I think it's like something that created an, like, I think there was an egg actually that yeah. came before an egg. I think it's chicken than the egg. I think it's egg then egg. I think it's simple egg, slightly less simple egg. I think it was just like, like, you know, whoever is fucking making shit was like, here's an egg and the egg hatched and had. What do you think it's like Gordon Ramsay just cooking up eggs? Yeah, and he was like, here is one poached egg, except not poached because whatever that means, it would, st it would still have a chicken in it, so. Okay. Like, I think, it, you know, however everything was created, it's just here. Is Neil deGrasse Tyson available for us to have in this podcast? Who? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Who's that? Everyone's like giving me a really dirty look. Who the fuck is this? Um, well, um, I, actually he's on TikTok. Neil deGrasse T Tyson? It's not deGrasse. He's an astrophysicist. Oh, why the fuck would I know that? But he's hilarious. Neil? I guarantee if you said, if you Google- DeGrasse Tyson, you, here we go. If you look up yeah, Neil DeGrasse Tyson and say chicken or egg, I guarantee he's answered that question. American astrophysicist, planetary scientist, author and science communicator, goddamn, he went to Harvard, University of Texas and Columbia. And he did his postdoctoral, doctoral? Uh-huh. Research oh. assistant at, at Princeton. Wow, he's 63 now. Wait, I'm sorry, how many, was that four universities? It was all, the, all of them. What a dick. Okay, wait, chicken or too. egg? Mm -hmm. Chicken And then or Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he will have answered this. Oh, fuck yeah, we are so accurate. Bill Nye, the science guy also endorses this, that evolution is on the side of the egg is coming before the chicken. This is because there was once a proto chicken, a bird resembling a chicken, but not quite of chicken status that went about its business laying and fertilizing an egg. If Bill Nye, the science guy says so, it is, it is so. You know, it, this is the word. Thanks be to God. Um, Bill, not the science guy, would be one of my ultimate podcast guests ever. Um, I've heard mixed things. If you're gonna tell me something negative about Bill Nye, next. The VH test, VHS tips that would, in every science class, uh -huh. the, the hours spent, yeah. 
the consistency of a, a neurotic host that yeah. comes up with obscure things that yeah. are just relatable enough for like a six year old to somewhat absorb. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say that's poor? Nothing. But what, what's bad? No, I, I and you know what? It, this it sucks because like I feel like um, and this is actually not true at all for most celebrities. But like mm, um, I feel like every celebrity and like known person mm -hmm. has off days. Right. Right. And it just talks well, to like every person has off days. Yeah, every person has off days, totally. But it's like Arguably, I'm waiting for an on day. <laughs> I'm begging you to have an on day. Okay, once again, <laughs> neither than I wanted it to be. Um, but like every celebrity has an off day and sometimes the stories from those off days that get like spread oh, around. Say the story, what happened? Anyway, someone was just saying that like Bill Nye the Science Guy was like super douchey in a green room. And I can't remember what the circumstances were, but they were just like super demanding, super like not friendly and wanting to talk to other people and just like super entitled about asking for things, I guess. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Bill Nye has been doing things for about 75 years. I get it. Bill Nye the Science Guy is allowed to ask for whatever the fuck Bill Nye the Science Guy wants. Great. Okay, that's why I feel, I feel the yeah. same way. Yeah, I don't know. He has deserved that honor. Yeah. Also, it was a shared green room. Oof. That was probably wasn't a rider. Yeah, could be yeah. tough. I think it was um something like We Day. Maybe it wasn't We Day, but I think it was something like We Day. Mm, out them. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Are you kidding me? I love We Day. We Day has really fucking shown out for me. They have. Yeah. That was one of the most uh first obsessive dates that we did when I flew up to Canada with after we were, I don't know, had gone on two dates. Yeah. And decided to stay with each other for a weekend in Vancouver. Yes. It, we, we, it, which was like, okay, everyone can relate to when you uh, are falling in like with someone, uh -huh. pre-love, and you're obsessive over just everything about them. Yep. And then you just do things that when you look back on- Dumb shit. You're like, but like, you, you're glad you did it. Oh yeah, 100%. But at the time, you're like, it, it, it is completely like, yeah, just why? a 180 from why? any other decision. You, oh, let's just fly to a city in Canada for a day and a half to sit in the hotel with her while she does a speech at We Day. That's not true. We went to an aquarium. We got stranded at the aquarium, but we went to the aquarium and it was great. We went to a cute little brunch spot. I would- Great time. I would consider Vancouver a wonderful city if it had Uber. Yeah, it started raining and we got, when I'm, we got, I've, I cannot remember a time other than like maybe Coachella when I have been as stranded as I have been at the aquarium of Vancouver. Uh, 4 a.m. in the bus line in EDC Vegas without a VIP pass and had to wait another eight and a half hours before I got on a bus to then go to my hotel. That was the most stranded. Four hours after Beyonce concert stranded in Pasadena, we had accidentally- Okay, you could just start walking. What? We you did, just start that's what we started doing. We started, that's what we started doing. I was with um Lily, like Superwoman Lily, and <laughs> she will never let me live it down because I was, I always have a purse snack. I have an emergency granola bar in my bag at all times. And that's that, an understatement. That was- The purse buffet. I was, I was fucking rationing off that granola bar because I thought that we were gonna die. You would, yeah. And by the way, it's best that you don't think you're going to die because the worst version of you is think you're going to die uh -huh. and uh, have a more and increased reason to think that. I thought we were gonna die. Yeah. I was I was gonna die in Pasadena after the Beyonce concert, which would have been worth it, might I say. That concert was incredible. Yeah, but like, I feel like it would have been nice like at the concert, not four hours later walking to a location. To die or eat why the were there, bar? Why were there no cars? Oh, we were like, oh, like let's not do the Uber line. Let's go just find, like, we'll just walk up a little bit. And <laughs> we're smarter than this. Yeah, we're smarter than this. We'll, we'll find one that doesn't, like, doesn't have to go through the whole area. Cause I feel like this was new when they started doing like Uber lots, which usually are quite efficient now, yeah. but they weren't at the time. So we're like, oh, let's walk away from this area. When are we going to get um, car taxis? That's the question I have. What? Like the, the flying taxis that just like, you, you call it aerial. A, you called it a car taxi. I yeah, that's dumb. Um, <laughs> aerial taxi, <laughs> flying taxi, flying, flying taxi. cars. Honestly, I'm just here. I'm just here fucking begging, begging for um, teleportation. Uh, that is cool. But can you imagine a world where, you know what, like when like birds and lime scooters just took over LA yeah. and everyone was on one for a while. Yep. Can you imagine if another startup just like dropped a one person flight pod and anyone can kind of hop into one on the sidewalk, there would be deaths everywhere. <laughs> the liability attached to that would be insane. There would need to be a breathalyzer in every single one of those. I, I I can't even, that's that's not even the beginning of where the safety precautions need to start for that. I can confirm right now, the only time I'm getting on one of those scooters now is because I am inebriated. On a Lime? Yes. I've still never been on one. Really? But I know so many people who have broken their face yeah. and also broken limbs and bones and just general um, like, severe threat to the human body is being on a Lyme and bird scooter, so, sober and inebriated. Well, other people realize that you're not supposed to actually um, use them on the sidewalk. 
and like the sidewalks have the grooves and everything. They're not meant for motor vehicles. Right. LA is not like a bike lane friendly no. city though. No, no, no. LA is a, um, you have a vehicle or a, someone driving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Like pedestrians in most cities, I feel like you can, you know, cars will stop for you. Cars will not stop for they're you. They're not stopping for you. They're not. <laughs> cars not will not stop for you. And, and, and realistically within good reason, because no one's paying attention here either. No, they're really yeah. not. They're not. Um, I'm not sure entirely how we, oh, Tesla Model S, that's how we got all that's over That's how we here? got here, yeah. Wow. And now I have a car that drives itself. It's so exciting. Well, actually I don't. It's it's calibrating. It's still calibrating. Once yeah, it's done started. calibrating, yeah. then I'm done driving. I feel like most of my friends say that they only really use like the um, auto drive feature when they're on the freeway. I don't trust that thing for shit. Even on the freeway? No. You know what I feel like it, like the times where I'm like, oh, should I get a Tesla? Is when I'm sitting in fucking bumper to bumper traffic and I feel like it could be doing that since you're just like, like slugging along anyway. I don't trust it. So we'll see, maybe I'll change my mind. I'll be yeah. over here eating breakfast while it's happening, but I don't right. think so. Right. I've right, seen right. them, I've seen accessories now that I'm being like targeted Tesla things. Yeah. And there's a full on like picnic table that you can just like kind of set up around your, like your. Sir, destroying the set again, uh, every week. You just set this little picnic table <laughs> around everything and you just like, you can have a work center and all this stuff. I'm like, aren't you supposed to have your hands on the car? Yeah, or the, I feel on like the wheel? shouldn't be silly. But is that supposed to be for the passenger, hypothetically? Yeah, sure. I was pissed that the little movie theater mode doesn't work when you're driving. That I should also, be able to watch Netflix no, while I'm driving. Well, I don't yeah. know if maybe that's not the same decision. You should be able to watch Bling Empire while I'm driving. I don't hate that. I think that I would throw up. Okay. I think I'd get carsick. Okay. Oh my God. Also like- Are you guys into the theme? Like a, <laughs> a, an air freshener. Um, granola bar. <laughs> yeah, less than half a granola bar at all times. It's, it's like- <laughs> You are a wafer cracker. I know. Away from death at all times. I know I'm a fragile individual. Okay, I'm a, I, I'm a fragile Lauren butterfly. Many times, stay wealthy, <laughs> stay successful. Please don't ever need to humble yourself. I mean, I, I've I've been fragile my entire life, and I, I trust me, I've not always been successful. Even when you were in sports. Mm, yeah, that's not true. Actually, I guess yeah. When I was in middle school, I definitely was a scrappier then. I would love to see scrappy Lauren. And by scrappier, I probably just mean that I my cardio was much higher. That I could run because I was Wasn't such lower. a I was such a good runner that I could run forever. And so maybe that made me feel tougher because I wasn't dying at all times. Speaking of excellent cardiovascular health, I also signed up for a gym. I also signed up for a gym. It doesn't open for a few more months, but I'm signed up for a gym immediately. It's very exciting. And I'm also locked in for a year. Am I also locked in for a year? We are both locked in for a year. I was fucking stupid. Why? Oh, you know what though? With um that particular gym, you can excuse yourself via via a note from a health professional. Really? I would not know that because I've never done that. Huh. But there is a world where you may put. How about we just go to the gym for a year? <laughs> we could. I, I could work really... out three to five times a week, and it shows. Why don't we just go to the gym for a year? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm done. I mean, I I love like, I am so much more consistent when I can just take 10 steps into the garage because we've got a pretty good, Jeremy actually bought some really great equipment when he decided that he was gonna have a home gym I haven't and lived never in used it. Once. I know, I use it every week, multiple times. And so anyway, Jeremy bought me a great, great home gym um, that I'm very excited about. I think it was your birthday present one year you wanted a squat rack. But I bought it. What? Didn't I buy it? No, I think we went halfsies on it because it's really expensive. Well, I know I bought a lot of the other yeah. weights because the shipping on a 90 pound weight in the middle of the well, pandemic. Well, you also were like, dumb. I want the really heavy ones because I'm going to use them. And I was like, okay, I, I can't even pick them up. They so, have like, been fantastic they're... things to hold other things down when I needed a you know large sandbag of 90 pounds on a uh, edge of something. I use the kettlebell all the time to bring in groceries and hold the door open. Yeah. I will say that I actually use that kettlebell, but the, all those really, really heavy dumbbells haven't touched them. You know what's funny? Moose is actually, if a, if a dog was a kettlebell, it'd be the shape of Moose. Yeah, that's how I threw my back out this week. You know what I mean? 100%. A hundred percent. I say that all the time, that he's just like, he's literally just a little kettlebell. The face and everything too? It's just like, yeah. Especially just, when, you know when he's like sitting like slouched into himself yeah. and a little, a little just yeah. belly picks up? Yeah. Maybe he's more like a BOSU, or not a BOSU ball. What's the, what's the weighted ball? BOSU balls are the one that you can balance on. What's the like the weighted ball? Once again, I have not lifted anything right, more right. than this drink for about three yeah, years. Wrong, the right person, you're right. Yeah, you're if right. you asked me to do a squat off, honestly, just win. I, I would win, I think. I, even with your back thrown out. Yeah, yeah. Nobody likes winning on a paycheck, nobody. Especially when you have bills due, a big birthday group dinner, or you just really need a new fit for the weekend festivities. That's why Chime is the best. Now. 
You can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and generally just feel good about your money situation. But Chime is more than just about getting paid early. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. So not only can you get paid faster, but also set yourself up for the future with a savings account. I would have loved having Chime when I was younger. It's a great way to set yourself up for financial success. And I would have have absolutely loved having Chime when I was younger. And especially if you're a student, Chime is clutch. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Get started with Chime today by applying for a free account that takes less than two minutes. Get started at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stripe Bank NA members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Um, next. <laughs> so I blacked out on Thursday. Okay, um, all right. You're right. Take two <laughs> So I can count on my... I don't know, left side of my hand, how many times since I've known Lauren, she's been more drunk than me. Yes. It was one of the very first times we hung out, the tequila night. Um, yes. There was a couple other things tonight. Uh, but that night, and then fast forward four years to last week or two weeks ago in Kentucky, and then last week when you came home on a Thursday night, <laughs> a school night after me, and you walked in the door and I just heard the door like, Slam I against- left, I left her outside gate wide open, by the way. I closed all it- All night? All night. No, no, I actually woke up to get a snack around 3.30 in the morning and I went outside and closed it. <laughs> you live a second life when I go to bed. I know. Uh, which we can get back to this time. Anyway, point is, you've been <sighs> drunker than I am the more times in the last month that I've seen her in I her know, relationship. I know. Is this a trend? No, 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 no. This happened by accident. So there was a very cute AAPI night. I get so excited to be invited to those because I feel like because I'm only half Asian, I only get invited to like half of these events. And like, I don't get invited to-, be fair, to That is- What? That is equitable. I know, I know, but I'm so sad. Like there was a Turning Red premiere, which is literally about an Asian in Toronto. I am a half Asian from Toronto and like not getting invited to that, like really was like, like I was like, so anyways, really excited to get invited to AAPI stuff. And so went and it was all these like really cool Asians from TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. Um, a lot of them that are like new creators. So a lot of people that I like know from seeing their content, but I've never met before. Okay. And so drinking with people that you're not super close with, one, here's, here's where my night went fatal, is one, drinking with people that I'm not super close with. And so I went with um, my friend Kyle, who we've drank lots of times, so like that was fine. It was not like my my date for the night was pressuring me to drink. It was just that like- Well, kind of. Kind of, also, yeah, yeah kind of that. But then the other fatal flaw of the night was that there just wasn't any food. Ah. And so it was it was tapas for dinner. So in the, the like the little flyer event thing was mm -hmm. like tapa, like tapa style dinner. That's what it said, tapa style dinner. Okay. And so like, if it says literal D-I-N-N-E-R on the event, I'm like, oh, like that's probably gonna be a substantial amount of food. But again, I am fragile. I know my limits. So I was like, I'll have a mini dinner before I go because what if I don't like the, like, the food they're serving or like, I know. Thoughts, I've, n I 30 years, <laughs> 30 years. I've never thought to myself, I wonder if I'm not gonna like what they're going to have to serve at the event. I should have a mini dinner right now. <laughs> like, I've never- you, Honestly, I highly recommend the mini dinner. Like, I'm not, you, I'm just impressed with the bandwidth that you have in your brain to 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 dedicate. I have told you so many times, it is very stressful up here and that's why I require so many naps a day. So I have the mini dinner. And so I had like a small chicken, barbecue chicken sandwich or whatever that was like part of like my meal prep plan thingy that had been, that I had. So thank fucking God. I would have been in the hospital getting my stomach pumped had I not had that mini dinner because we got there and one, it was open bar. Okay. And so I had, I think three shots and two margaritas in the span of two hours. Okay. That might be more liquor than I've seen you drink in a year. They weren't like full size, like super intense shots because it's hard to say cause they weren't shot glasses and it was like open bar. So they're not like pouring like super full ones. Like you never know. A shot is a shot. It can't be much more than a shot because it's the end of the glass. Right. So I had three shots and two margaritas in the span of that, like two and a half, maybe three hours. And by the way, that's, I'm pretty good on clock and metabolic rates. Not great. You don't metabolize alcohol no, no, no. anywhere near that fast. Not great. Not even close. Not great. Not great. Um, and tequila is just so easy. It is hands down the easiest alcohol ever is tequila wow. for me okay. at least. Not champagne. Is well, I mean, heart of heart alcohol. Got it. Like whiskey shot, fine. Like that's maybe like a 7.5 out of 10 on like. Who are you? Is, is this one of the other 20 girlfriends? No, you, I, I've, I've never had an issue taking shots. I feel like some people. Okay, go ahead. Like 
drinking an actual shot. Obviously like, I don't like getting super drunk because of the whole getting sick thing. I'm in a phobia, right. but like taking shots is not hard for me. Like some people like can't take a shot. Like Remy took a shot when we were on the beach. The we day. went to Kentucky and you became, you came back a frat star. Taking shots is not hard for me, okay? <laughs> and so like, I would put like whiskey to 7.5. More tequila is just so easy for me. It is easy for me. <laughs> like if you just put a dude's ax on that, I would want to, I would want to drop kick you. I'm like we get it, you, you drink, you party. No, but okay. Which by the way is so fun. Like the amount of people that I've seen a shot, the scene take a shot and then like throw up a little bit in their mouth type of situation, like many times. In the last month, actually three, I've seen three people do it where they okay. actually vomit a little bit. And so anyways, I've never had issues taking a shot. Like some people really struggle with that. I don't, I don't like taking shots because I don't want to get super fucked up, but I don't mind drinking something really quickly that doesn't taste that great. To be fair, you don't drink anything basic. Like there's no basic water in your life. Like that sparkling water is yeah. how Lauren hydrates herself. So she always drinks <laughs> something with a little bit of kick to it. So I think your your general tolerance for Maybe. things. Maybe, spicy water. Yeah, because the moment you have like a, a, a plain water, you're like- I have such an issue mm, drinking plain gl water. Gross, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know what that there's is. There's gotta be something just fundamentally different about your tongue than mine. Right, maybe just something wrong, just broken. I didn't say that. Anyways, so uh, the tapas style dinner was very much not dinner. I, I think maybe you could call it like tapas, like little appetizers or whatever, because- I'll be very clear. I am six foot four and over 200 pounds. Tapas are never dinner. Ta tapas are, but it said tapas for dinner. And so when I see the word dinner, and I guess I should have, but again, the mini dinner, thank fucking God the mini dinner. But I, I had maybe one little thing of like um, buffalo cauliflower. Someone found me another one. And so I had two of those. And then I said, notice some soup. Cause I mean like who's trying to drink soup when you're getting drunk? Like that's, that's not, weird. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. And then um, large, I large stomach. went home and ate half a bag of goldfish crackers. Yeah, thank you, God. You fast forwarded through a few things when you got home. First off, I got <laughs> I got the call. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then like I heard a gentleman take the phone. Hi. <laughs> She all right? Yeah. Okay, and when we mean gentlemen, we mean our friend Kyle. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank God he was there. Yeah, no, yeah. no, for sure. But I, I think it's, you're kind of fun when you're a mess. What do you mean? Yeah, of course you're I am. You're a cute mess. Yeah. You're not, you're not a sloppy mess. No, 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 I'm like a wholesome yeah. mess, I would yeah, say. You, you are, yeah. it's, you're, you're wholesome and you're- um, Also, I'm a happy drunk. I'm a super happy drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. some people can, you know, can go dark with that and that's always like really sad, but I'm a super happy drunk. Yeah, you are. Like exceedingly happy for you not getting drunk very often. Every time you are more drunk than me, I'm like, that's cute. <laughs> right, and so thank God it's like that. So anyway, came home and then this is where things go a little bit dark and fuzzy mm. for me. There's about two hours there. Yeah. That's not there. What's interesting is that all of the questions you asked me between eight and 9 a.m. the next morning <laughs> were the exact same questions you asked me between midnight and one. Black and Yacht is crazy. Like crazy. Black Yacht is like actually fucking crazy. Like, crazy. It's so, it, like fucking scary. Which is the thought that, that like, like a piece of your a piece of your memory is just gone. Well, no, it's more like your brain is taking it to the face, doing its thing, whatever. And then at a certain point, it just goes, nah, over to you guys. Yeah, no, no, no I'm out for tonight. Yeah, like yeah. call me when you're sober. Right, and, and like because I'm sure I was asking completely. Like, I was functioning. Sure. <laughs> no, but like I obviously was asking all the the normal questions that I would have that I did ask the next morning. Yes. So like we were conversing. Conversing, yes. Yeah, and then obviously I like fell asleep on the couch for a while. Yeah, your spatial, um, uh, not awareness, your your lack of space when you are drunk is, it's adorable, but you gotta be close. I would say that no one's spatial awareness when they're drunk is probably tip top. Yeah, no, mine's, I'm not actually great at anything when I'm drunk. You're actually very heavy when you're drunk, like much heavier, like however much you weigh right now when you're sober, it doubles when you're drunk. I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. It's wild. It's yeah. crazy how science works. It is, it is, it is indeed. <laughs> okay, got it. So um, is this a new thing for you? No, 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 no. I feel, I, I texted, so normally I train with my boxing trainer on Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Uh -huh. I texted him before I went out and I was like, hey, he was like, it's okay if we do 10 tomorrow, like are you flexible? And he was like, yeah, no worries, 10 is great. Might get crazy tonight. Yeah, and I was like, oh, perfect. Like get another extra hour of sleep because maybe if I come home at like, you know, 11.30, you know, and have a little, you know, sleep it off. Yeah. I texted him at 3.30, again, when I woke up to get a snack and I went outside onto our front lawn and closed our main gate. And I texted him, I was like, it's actually the most coherent text. Let me find it. Cause you're like doubly, hi, um, I will not be available to, to box at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I, I feel like you're just like thinking about it more <laughs> no, than- No, 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 okay, here we go. 2.55 a.m., hi, just kidding. I need to cancel. I made drinking decisions that will not be undone by 10 a.m. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the most like elaborately text out text. That's the most thoughtful drunk. Yeah. I, 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 I made drinking anyone. decisions that will not be undone by 10 a.m. It's as if Gail grabbed your phone and wanted to let yeah. sober everyone know that tomorrow that the drunk version of you right now has checked out for the day. Right, 6.50 p.m. Hi, any chance we can do 10, 2.55. I made drinking decisions that will not be undone. <laughs> I, I just, I love the foresight. <laughs> yeah, and it, it wasn't enough. Okay, yeah. It was You're many enough. things um, and and uh, selfish when you're drunk is not one of them. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's adorable. Yeah. I think it'd be um, uh, an interesting, uh, 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 if you were a hallucinogen person, mm -hmm. I think you'd be potentially very annoying. I think you would be enthralled <laughs> and you would want everyone to talk like, to, actually, I can tell you what it is. Every morning that Lauren wakes up and goes, I think today's a great day to tell Jeremy what I just dreamt about. <laughs> And she'll get six words through it and I can see it start to fade. But it's always like- And then like, it's going away. And then okay, it. so we were at the mall and you were, and I was so mad at you. I don't really remember why. And then um, you were gone. And then I was looking at a purple dinosaur and then it had um, no neck and then it was name was Ned. And then Ned was, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> that's exactly how every morning goes. That's exactly how every morning goes. Yeah. Every morning. Sometimes though, I feel like just to amuse me, you're like, what did you dream about last night? I'm like, you'll never guess. I just hope that before we die, and it would be great if, if cancer was cured. It would be great if we could solve world hunger, but more importantly than anything, mm -hmm. of course, seriously, if we could just see the download of your dreams just oh. once. And I, I tell you, I could just see it now we're in the nursing home holding hands about to just fade off in the distance dead. And I look up and I watch this 16 second, just like, uh, I mean, all over the place, just ADHD. Fuckery. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like a, a kid that had the, the edit button was smashing on a Final Cut Pro with a bunch <laughs> of different assets. Yeah. And it just popped out and I go, now I get you. That's, that's what it is. Like if, if I could just hop into your dreams yeah. for five minutes and just watch that. Oh, it's so weird. I, I have such vivid dreams every single night. I have multiple and I usually remember a handful of them every morning. Yeah. It's so weird. I don't really remember my dreams much anymore. Yeah, I know. I remember we had this conversation about how, oh, you know what someone uh, posted the other day that I was like, that was so interesting. They were like, I've never seen my iPhone in my dream. Oh, um, I have. Have you? Because I've, you know those dreams where you, you struggle to do basic tasks? Oh yeah. I've yeah, had yeah, to communicate yeah. with somebody and I, it would not work. Right. And it was, it was a mean That makes thing. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't- That's a metaphor for work, I think. Yeah, probably. Huh. Yeah. It's like, I lose my teeth all the time in my dreams. And that's like a massive, like just sign of anxiety, which I've, I've you know, done the, what does this mean when? And it's not that they, it's either that they get loose Mm -hmm. Oh my God, also we've talked about Bobby's after. Oh, oh my God, we gotta circle, we're, we're, put a pin in that. We're gonna circle back to this. This, um, this podcast is brought to you by Adderall. <laughs> um, I frequently get wiggly teeth in my dreams, which is almost worse than it actually just being gone, okay. right? Cause the stress of like it being wiggly, being like, oh my God. Like I can see the stress of a wiggly teeth, wiggly teeth, a wiggly tooth just taking you out mentally for at least a week. What do you do? There's, you can't unwiggle it, you can't unstick it back in. So it's like, just get the fucking floss and the doorknob and pull that shit out. Did Greg do that? No, we never did that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Did you struggle with your teeth? No, but one time on Halloween, <laughs> my dad hit me over the head with a stuffed animal and a tooth fell out. Like it was again, already wiggly, but he just like went back and my tooth was like, ah, a tooth. Lovely. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new segment we're doing? <laughs> when's that again? Yeah. So, so one time I remember. <laughs> That's adorable. Um, I've also, I also lost a tooth on a plane once. That was, that felt like a, that was very stressful for me. Cause I was like, holy fuck. Like, will the tooth fairy come to Florida with us? <laughs> well, my uncle's an oral surgeon. Yeah. And I remember one time I had like, you know, like a, a tooth was hanging by a string. It needed to go. It had been needing to go for probably three weeks. And I was just like, I can't remember. And I remember I, we were going to his house for Thanksgiving or something. Yeah. And the very first thing I did, I walked up to him to like, fix this thing. And I remember he goes, all right, <laughs> open your mouth. <gasps> goes, oh. And he walks away and he already did it. <gasps> Shut the fuck up. It was magic. What? It was like, it was, it was like as he was getting his hands into my mouth, right, he just right. David he just blamed that thing <gasps> and he goes, All right, wait, which one is it? And he just walked away. <gasps> magic. How much did you get from the tooth fairy? Oh God, depends what Donna had in her purse. Um I'm, they were bills. They were bills. Yeah, but ones are bills. Like I don't know. I think I had um uh a uh, maybe one to t one to five dollar ratio. Damn, five to 10. damn, your tooth fairy rich, shit. American tooth fairy. Wow, yeah, it's USD. damn, American, yeah. is that what your taxes go to? American tooth fairy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, fuck. That's what we call social services. Damn. <laughs> wow, Canadian tooth fairy, loonies and toonies, baby. I love that. Yeah, loonies and toonies. Yeah, I, yeah. So do you guys just walk around just jiggling pockets? Yeah. Terrible. 
It's awful. Okay, okay, okay but in, in on, uh, I just, I can't handle having a wad of money and knowing if it's either $6 or 600. It is so confusing. I, I hate that. <laughs> you know who pe people who don't want that? People who know they don't have $600. But like, but it's like either I, okay, even I have $6 or I've got like $47, you know what I mean? Blue hundreds or, or singles, I get it. Blue. Blue hundreds? What? Did you listen to rap music? No. What is the origin of blue hundred? What do you mean blue hundred? What are you saying? What does okay. it even mean? Okay, everyone just hold on and you're gonna be cultured in moments. Hundreds or, in Canada are like a brown no, it's color. Like blue hundreds, it's a very specific. Huh, blue hundreds. Please Was tell me like you're finding something. Limited edition? What do we got? Oh, thank God. Yep. Mm -hmm. Blue hundreds. Mm -hmm. I'm in touch with um, modern pop culture, so. Oh, got it, yeah. got it, got it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, wait till we get to the, the tea talks for Jeremy section of the podcast. Oh, it's gonna be trill. God. Oh, is there a blue stripe no, on the $100 I think it's, bill? It, blue hundreds are older. I think they're older stripes versus the new ones or something. I think that's like, when you reference blue hundreds, this is becoming so ridiculously stupid. I think blue hundreds like represent the fact that you've had them. I don't think I even realized that there was a stripe you hodled of any your hundreds. Kind. You hold your hundreds. Yeah. Any 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 fact of that? Oh, maybe the new ones. Okay. Either way, Canadian mon monopoly money is just uh, superior in terms of knowing how much money you have. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so it's a security feature to help differentiate real ones and fake ones of the hundred dollar bill. Got it. All right. So there it's like it a check, a verified check mark Myth for, for hundreds. Busted. Myth bust. I loved that show. Mythbusters, yeah, yeah, me too. I liked Mythbusters and I liked A Hundred Ways to Die. <sighs> Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Like, I, I just think that the 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 balance there, busted myths, how to die. And then also you then take each one of those hundred things and dream about them for 20 years straight. Right, yeah. right, right. Um, so Wiggly Teeth had those. Uh, the other one that I really hate, I'd actually rather have, rather have a Wiggly Tooth in a dream than I, I have this dream all the time where my teeth will crumble. You got a lot of teeth dreams. It's a big anxiety thing. Like for as many teeth related like I issues have that I have. I four less teeth than you, just like as a general adult. Really? Yeah. How could that possibly be a thing? I got a small ass mouth and they took six of them out. Okay, but you had them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I mean, I was just thinking this one. Yeah. And I, I gotta be real clear. If anyone has the option to pick which tooth they are missing, don't pick this one. Also, I wanna talk about this real quick, actually. So this whole, Jeremy always talks about like this missing tooth and he had a big gap in his mouth. Yeah, land a plane. This I, thing was massive. I couldn't smile for the first I, 20 years of my life. I wanna see photo evidence because I talked to someone that Jeremy grew up with. You said that you guys are friends for so many years. Oh and I asked her about it and she was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, my boyfriend made it up to see that he had a fucking garage door in the front of his mouth. And you're telling me that you don't remember it? Garage door, you mean industrial commercial door. Right, and she didn't remember. She had no recollection of this gap in your teeth. <sighs> only because I have gone through and just like Will Smith, just like men in black, everyone yeah. I could possibly uh -huh. be around to only remember the version of me. I, I sense there being the same way that Keep you- Keep looking, Devin, you're not gonna find it. The same way that you- <laughs> I can see you, I can see you typing. You won't find it. I've looked everywhere. I've looked everywhere. Well, like, I, but I, I was so wildly like insecure about that. The moment that I right. got it, like the, not even like it filled, right? The the the, the braces retainer, the axle retainer, the, 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 the hidden, like, all of them, the moment I got to the new version, mm -hmm. I just wiped out. Like nothing exists of me before the age of 19. Right, and so anyways, I think based on this insecurity, I'm now thinking that it was maybe a gap the size of a TikTok, a TikTok, a Tic Tac, uh -huh. and not the but size. Like a gap of a Tic Tac? Pretty big. Yeah, but yeah. like, you're not like, you're like, damn. Point is, I am. Um, uh, I, I, I think there might've been a little bit of um, dramaticism added to- Dramaticism? This, the two situation. I, it was, is there a bit of hyperbole, potentially? Right. I think it's mostly founded in, I could- um, Jeremy I could, also told a handful of people of his friends that he was basically um, abandoned in a dumpster uh, in a really sketchy neighborhood. Amazon book tour coming soon. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's get on to what's uh, uh, eating at you that was then eating at me, Liam Payne. I thought we were gonna circle back on Bubby's. Go ahead. So Bubby's got four teeth removed at the tender age of five. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> When's the last time he had his teeth cleaned? Um, I mean, they like, you know, quote unquote, brush teeth. Yeah, same here. Yeah, brush, brush dog's <laughs> teeth, obviously when they go for like, 
uh, grooming and stuff like that. But you know, they could never do a great job because I'm sure he's licking and he's like like tossing his hat away and stuff. So anyways, when dogs are getting older, they do like a comprehensive x-rays and teeth cleaning, a deep clean that gets sedated for it. You go for blood work, <laughs> leading up to it. get older in Los Angeles, they do these things. No, I think dogs everywhere. Uh, yeah, Actually, you know what? It was my friend's dog on the exact same day that Bubby's got it was also sedated for a deep clean. She sent me a fucking picture and they had this dog's tongue. It's a golden retriever, so like long tongue. They had this dog's tongue clamped to the side to keep it out of the way. Oh, ow. I feel like they would like, like cut the circulation no, off. No, I'm sure it was fine. I'm sure it was fine. Like it- it. Savage. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Well, cause I, I'm, you know, big tongue. I got it to move the way while they do the two fins. I get it, yeah. So anyway, so Bubby um, had four teeth removed, which was so sad. So he's got, I was going through photos. Cause I was like, oh my God, does he only have four little baby teeth on the bottom before it gets to the incisors or whatever? And I looked at all the photos, there's six. So he lost three of the little tiny baby ones. Fortunately, if you ever need to know what Bubby's had on any given day. Yes. Just go look at the, the, the moose folder. There's at least a dozen photos taken of moose every day. Since oh was- yeah, hundred yeah. percent, at least a yeah. day. Um, and then there was another one in the back they took out because I had a cavity. Got it. So Bubby's is very sad right now, sleeping with the donut. I slept on the couch with them last night. We did not, neither of us slept very well. And it's been, um, it's been a traumatizing situation. No, he's fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone's good. His teeth are actually completely healthy. They said, minus the ones that they took Did we get out. the bill for that yet? Um, I think it was 1500. Pet insurance, baby. I will say pulling teeth at 1500 becomes a little more reasonable, just a little cleaning. Yeah, yeah it's the know. anesthesiology. I'm it sure. was the anesthesiology yeah. that's yeah, it's super expensive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is your reminder right now. If your dog has not gotten pet insurance, we should try and get a pet insurance sponsor because I will preach the good word of pet insurance any every chewy? single day. Any, any like pet related uh, oh, thing. Love yeah. Chewy, big Chewy fan. Yeah, the problem is we would, we'll continue to buy Chewy whether or not they want to pay for ad space. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Liam Payne. Um, so I don't think that I've ever actually heard any of One Direction say anything that wasn't in a song. Um, Besides I've... the time that Harry Styles and I exchanged words. Right, right, right. right. Where was that again? In a coffee uh, shop? Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs, right. Um, he asked me where the bathroom was. And then said, called you mate, right? Thanks, yeah. mate. Thanks mate. And I, I like, <laughs> and then right. shit myself. Right, yes, of course, yeah. of course, as one does. Yeah. I definitely have watched a handful of like interviews because okay. I, I was a 1D stan. I've been to two concerts. And when you say fan. you, wa- past tense? No, I am, I am still a 1D stan. I got to uh, drunk Lauren, when any four to five so- seconds of an intro song comes out of 1D, I guarantee is ready to dance, oh, ready I'm to party. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. I was thinking that at the actually the wedding of the day, just how uh, uh, like ironic and, and just, it, it, it's gonna be cringy when we have the you know 90s and 2000s hits come on in about 20 years from oh now. Oh my fucking like, God. Like we're gonna be so I embarrassing. Know. The vintage retro hits yeah. of the of the 1990s. And to be clear, <laughs> now before it got into the hundreds, yeah. now that's what I call music. 20, 32, 45, 113. 113. Yeah. I know, I wanna die. That's insane. But Liam Payne. Liam Payne. So Liam Payne is um, randomly super into crypto and NFTs. But more importantly, on the one to five, where was he at in your ranking? Three, remember? Got it. Yeah. Got it. And so if it was- f- Interchangeably, I would say three and four. Okay, new question. Fuck, Mary kill, but you get all five to choose from. Ooh, okay, okay. See, I don't really know their personalities that well. Like seeing- It's an- not hard, just kill one. Okay, just kill one. Um, I mean, well, fuck after this podcast. No, it. I'd still kill Zane. Wow. Yeah. You really don't like him? Not for me. Okay. Not for me. Who are we fucking, who are we marrying? <sighs> I think I want to marry Harry. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd want that for you. Yeah, I think I want to marry Harry, fuck Niall, kill Zane. Niall? Yeah. Interesting. Honestly, question. I was never, I was not never like a hardcore Niall fan, but then I saw them in concert and I was like, oh, Niall's much cuter than than he. Um, like his, he gives off much uh, cuter energy in person. Yeah. Then, because when he was doing a personal concert for obviously just singing to me when right. I was in the audience, yeah, um, that yeah, we were just obviously connecting. Well, I'm going on this tangent just to kind of speak to just how um, uh, opinionated and spirited you are about One Direction. L- moving back to Liam Payne <laughs> and why we're talking about him today, uh, go on. So he was in um, Minneapolis for this whole crypto convention with Gary V, and he went on Logan Paul's podcast. Uh-huh. And so the the crypto community is very weird because it's like. A couple months ago, Liam Payne was in the Bahamas at another crypto convention with Steve Aoki, um, Paris Hilton, 
And who was the other really fucking random person? I don't know, but that's still half as weird as the things I've seen. Yeah, yeah. super fucking weird, yeah. super random. And- um, like, Do you think of like what dot com parties were back in the like, late nineties? Oh my God, yeah, I'm sure just as random as all of this is. This, this is just a dot com era right. happening again. Um, and so he went on Logan Paul's podcast and I've never heard Liam, let alone talk for five minutes, talk for an hour, hour and a half. And so I'm only halfway through the podcast. I wanna give fair warning. I'm only halfway through the actual thing, but I've seen all of the TikTok and Twitter Our highlights. Our best takes are when we're half informed. Yes, half yeah. informed. This is gonna be the, the best opinions. I haven't watched any of it. Right. I, I, I'm chock full of opinions. And I have opinions. I'm glad everybody asked. I have things <laughs> to say. Um, and so it was just so, I think that I'm just immediately pu like put off by someone who isn't self deprecating. Okay, yeah. I, he didn't. He didn't laugh the entire time. Like nothing about himself is funny. Like he, there's no joke involving him. No, not really. Oh, not really. He he kind of made comments about how like in his head was like no one wants to be in his head because like, it's it's scary up there. But like not in like a funny way. No, it's yeah, like no. when someone like loves to talk about like how like yeah like no one like everyone knows like they don't fuck with me like I just don't take shit like people know that and like I'm just down to brawl and people like just don't want to fuck with it was like kind of oh. like that like weird he energy how old is he 28 okay yeah all right and so he starts off he starts it off by saying that like he went on uh what was it fucking x factor is that how they were made x factor yeah, he went on X Factor and- uh, Fear Factor, got it, Joe yeah. was well, there. I was thinking, was it like America's Got Talent? Is it Burns Got Talent? Is it fucking American Idol? X Factor. America? UK, I, I mean, think? Obviously, yeah, obviously UK. they're all from the UK, but like, did they all just happen to be on the American version? So I guess on X Factor, he made it to the top 24. And then Simon was like, I I love you, but this is not your time right now. You have to go do school in two years, come back, like go get your education. So he comes back two years later. Oh, wait, no producer ever, ever. Who, gives a fuck about like, uh, yeah. I, like I, why don't you just tell them you are not interested yes. in what they have to offer? Because yes. that's what you're telling them with, yeah, go get your education. No producer yeah. in Hollywood has ever said that and actually meant it. Right. Unless they're talking to a seven year old. And he was not seven at the time. No. So he comes back two years later and- gets, Oh, he did? Just fucking wait, just wait. Sorry. Just wait. And I, so, I, I'm, I'm living this for the first time. Go yeah, ahead. I know. And so it comes back two years later. I'm not entirely sure. He didn't say like what number of like the rank he made it to, but I guess him and, and Niall, I think got cut on the same round or maybe it was Louis, I can't remember. Okay. Anyway, gets cut and starts to leave. On their way home, a producer comes back and grabs him and was like, hey, Simon wants to talk to you. And he basically goes on to say, Liam on the podcast, is that One Direction got put together because of the promise that Simon made to Liam to be like, I'm, you're just not ready, but now is your time. I told you that if you were to come back in two years, like I'm gonna make it happen for you. And so he more than insinuates that One Direction got formed because of that conversation that he and Simon had. That's what had. I'm hearing. Yeah, hundred percent. And then he also like, just like goes in to talk about how like he, that One Direction relied on him to start every show because he was the only one who had stage presence and wouldn't freeze up. And I was like, damn, I was like, all five of these guys can obviously like, you know, somewhat sing. I actually don't know like the the talent that they individually all I've have. Heard, I feel like I've heard all of them sing raw at some point. Yeah. And I was wildly impressed. Yeah, I yeah. think, yeah. I mean, and X Factor usually doesn't put shitty people through for the most part. Well, well, well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was just a really fucking weird podcast. It was also, super weird. I mean, and maybe Simon Cowell's actually that hands-on. Every TV show I've ever known anything ever about at all, yeah. it's some line producer and some producer in the back room trying to figure out what's gonna make the next episode have good ratings. So uh -huh. Just trying to figure out, okay, totally. what's a thing that we can kind of take people left field. So maybe the story was that Simon cared. I got a feeling that it's probably some intern named Jen who probably put the whole band together and got 0.0% .0 of all of that. But yep. even they were told, Simon's really interested in having this one. And that's now, the narrative. Right, exactly. And like, was it you know what? maybe- I made, I made One Direction, it was me. It was you, it was yeah. you. And like, was that maybe one of the most profitable decisions that X Factor and Simon has ever made? Probably. But He's got a lot of big hits, yeah. Yeah, but like 1D, like fuck. Huge. I don't yeah. know if you can top that. Yeah. Um, But, and then, he, and then he goes on and like shits on Zane. Thank you. Two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he shits on Zayn a lot and okay. he kind of goes back and forth between like loving on him and then shitting on him being like his family wasn't supportive, but he basically- that wasn't supportive, fuck that guy, huh? Well, he was dick. like, he was like, I think he mentioned that like him and Zayn, he also that he and Louis fucking hated the shit out of each other. They're friends now, but hated the shit out of each other. Like while the band was together and also- Louis is in one day. 
Yes. So better be clear. Yes. Okay. Yeah, duh. Louis. No. It's not Louis Harry. Thomas. Louis. Louis. I thought it was Louis. No, you're, I'm sure you're right. Yes, yeah, Louis. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you have me questioning my one D. Like, I, I'm sorry. I just knowledge. I'm just catching up for a second. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it was Harry. There was Zane. There were others. Okay. I think Louis is how you spell Louis, though. So maybe it's interchangeable. I'm sure the direction. Louis is how you spell Louis, huh? Yeah, Louis is Louis L O U I S. It's interchangeable. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you spell both. Right. Lu how do you spell Louis again? L O U I S. Got it. My last name is Louis. It's okay. Oh. oh okay. I was a got it. thinker for nobody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So shits on Zane's family lot saying that they weren't supportive and kind of insinuated that like they forced Zane to like do One Direction. Great decision, by the way. He bit, great decision. Yeah, I don't know whose parents are, nailed it. And then he super was like super shady towards him cheating on Gigi Hadid. And then now Bryce Hall got dragged into fucking all of this, which is crazy how Bryce Hall just happens to be at the center of every shit storm on the internet. Like, do you think his publicist is 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 getting up in the morning, finding these opportunities, going, Bryce, over here, text this individual. I don't think he has a publicist. I wonder if he has actually reversed, like, you know how like there's crisis PR? Yeah. How about um uh, pre-crisis PR? Right. Like to create the crisis for you. Shitstorm PR. Like, if I wanted to create the crisis, I would do one thing. I would text Tana Mosho. I'd say, mm -hmm. do you want to hang out tonight? And it would just ensue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would, you would just, it would find you. I would love to know what her retainer is to legal just to keep people off of it. <laughs> well, I think she pays a pretty handsome fee to legal for OnlyFans stuff too. I bet she pays a pretty handsome fee to a lot of things. Yeah. She's like got a, a, a big old fucking business. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. So yeah, so Bryce Hall made a comment because Liam was also talking about how he'd love to like box someone. And also, so- Bryce Hall is what, 10 years younger than him? Was Bryce, was Bryce Hall in, in elementary school when one day was hot? I have no idea. He's probably a super fan, honestly. Right, that's what, yeah. Actually, right, right, probably in middle school. Probably a super wow. fan. And so Bryce was like, yeah, Leon, like I'm down to fight. Like, let's do it. Isn't Bryce pretty scrappy? Yes, but he lost against Austin. Well, I, I won't be saying shit because uh, you won't see me in a room with anybody anytime. Yes. I don't care how big they are, five foot two, you big guy would crush me. In fact, you in the ring with me, I'm sure you'd beat me too. So I'll say zero words of shit, but I, I thought I had it in my mind. That yeah, I mean, he's a scrappy dude in the sense that he gets into like a lot of like random scraps. fights at parties. And Got it. Yes, it like literally oh, Austin, scrap. he lost to Austin, I remember that. He yeah, lost, yeah, yeah. yeah, Austin, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't want to fight Austin. I wouldn't want to fight Bryce. Yeah, I have no intention of, of or, you know, need to be punched in the face at no. all. No, 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 uh, not at Again, all. like I always say, I would love to punch someone in the face. Yeah, no, I want you to not do that. Yeah. yeah. So. Remember the cracker that puts you to the hospital almost? Yeah, the, the, the punches, no good. No, no good. Yeah. Liam's ex, girlfriend or ex-wife, maybe fiance. Okay. Liam's ex-partner made a TikTok saying that she, do you remember that like that super viral moment of Tana at Bryce's fight being like, even the paparazzi on team Bryce on oh, God. Oh yeah. And so Liam's ex-girlfriend or whatever, ex-girl makes that TikTok saying that she's on team Bryce. Oh. And I was like, oh my God, we are not having a One Direction and TikTok fucking throw down right now. This Back is to the not simulation thing. Simulation, you know what, fuck it. I changed my mind, it's real, it's 100% just... real. Bryce Hall and Liam from One Direction are now boxing and it's, I can't, I can't. I, I the world continues to get smaller. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's when you first learned about Bryce Hall and when you first learned about One Direction. Yes. The world seemed so much bigger. No. Yes. Like, the world was far too big for those two to ever share a ring, let alone share a Tana Mojo uh, quote that references another moment in pop culture uh, from years past. Hundred percent. Like, that's, that's the fiction makes more sense than that. And so here's one of the tweets that went viral and we can discuss. I'm sure you, you'll have opinions. I have a thoughts, go ahead. Yeah, Liam was talking real bold for someone on Logan Paul's podcast as if that's not the most embarrassing downfall of his career. To be on Logan Paul's podcast? Yeah. And how many um, subscribers does this person's podcast have? Eh. Well, then we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I guess that probably made somebody feel cool to even put that down. But even if you didn't like Logan or like the content, yeah. It's a big fucking podcast. Also, gotta be honest, like outside of of like Harry and maybe Zane, like Liam is pretty relevant right now because he's at the fucking center of all of this. Uh, I know who Liam Payne is. Right, exactly. I was not a, a one directioner, right? Right, right. Like, he's got appeal to the point where like 30 year old dudes remember that name and why. Um, I guess that's why I just like don't fucking, I, I don't participate in Twitter anymore because all of it is that if I, I see 
is mm. someone's little funny comment like that. You know what? I also, I just feel like to last on the internet, you have to know how to reinvent yourself. And so if Liam Payne from 1D wants to get into boxing and NFTs, fucking head on over to that new community. There's just so much overlap to begin with that like, go for him. I'd buy the fight. Really did not enjoy him on the podcast. Um, I, but I, I would buy the fight. Exactly. I would buy the fight. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I also, would buy the fight. I'm, I'm big, big, big on letting dudes fight for money. It, it's a great thing that I'm not gonna get tired of anytime soon. Like I, maybe it's just like the, 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 the barbarian in me. Isn't that just hilarious to see it's, dudes it's, just hit each other? It's like literally like whenever we watch UFC or boxing, I'm like, we are cavemen. Yes. We are literal cavemen. Yes, remember the whole chicken and egg thing? They're gonna be like uh, millennial or Gen Z. Yeah. Like, oh, does it matter? I'm so glad Bill Nye the Science Guy says egg. I, I just so wholeheartedly- Can we both say egg? Yeah. We both said egg, right? Yeah. We're team egg? Team egg. Got it. Team yeah. egg, a hundred percent. Okay. Um, let me introduce this segment. Uh, so we haven't really, well, we, you guys haven't really figured out what you're gonna name this segment yet, which I thoroughly enjoy. We're shopping, we're shopping. We're shopping. So what is it this week? Uh, Tiki Talkie for Jeremy. Great. I just wish there was a little more rhyme to Tiki Talkie for Jeremy. You know what I mean? Like the E works, but I'm missing syllables. It's it's not it's not quite right. Okay. It's not quite right. I got it. Um, Don't force it. Also on the Discord, we now have a- uh, Discord. This Discord, on the yeah. Discord, we had a new chain and it's um it's called, I saw I saw this on TikTok. I saw on TikTok. Was it, I saw this on TikTok? I think it's, I saw it TikTok. That, like, should, that should be changed. So I saw this on TikTok. Ding. Ding. Um, okay, wow, I'm so excited. Um, okay, I've been prepping these all week and I'm very excited for you. Are you sending it to me? You know what we say in our household? Hangry wife. Fuck your life. <laughs> I, that could be said about every guy ever as well, but there's a very specific type of hangry that I feel like that you um, embody that is best served either when I'm far away or uh -huh. quickly. I have such a vivid memory of one of the first times at the beginning of our relationship when I started getting really hangry and I was like, uh oh, it's like we're about was to- Was this when we almost broke up over um, me not bagging groceries fast enough? No, but that also, that one was a little more recent. There was- but Once again, that was me not bagging groceries fast enough at the store. No, you didn't want to bag them at all. Right. You didn't want to bag, it wasn't fast enough. You didn't want to bag them. Right, and, and you so, were so and, insistent that we bagged them as fast as possible and get out of the restaurant that, or the grocery store that, I'm not getting, it was almost wild till nine with Lauren. Yes. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a time, there was a time when we were getting, um, and this was like a big moment for us. Like you were like, oh, I'd love to get a crate at my house in my apartment when we just started dating to, so like Moose could have a set of his stuff at, at my house. And I was like, that is so nice. Where's this going? And so we were in the parking lot of Petco and they didn't have what we needed. And you're like, do you think we should just go, like, do you wanna just go to another one down the street? And I could feel my hanger levels. I wasn't, I wasn't even angry at you. There was nothing happening with you, but I could feel how hungry I was getting. And I was like, I'm gonna have a fucking meltdown if I don't get a snack. And so anyway, we had to, I, I can't remember if we openly talked about this or if I was just manipulating like the events of the day to then be food mm -hmm. on our next stop. Right. But I just have such a vivid memory of that being a moment where I was like, I am about to get fucking hangry in the next eight minutes. The next time you're mad at me, I want you to remember the time that you um, almost uh, broke up with me while I was trying to buy a crate for your dog at the time for my apartment. No, I wasn't trying to break up with you. I was just hangry in general. I wasn't mad at you. Uh huh. No, I was I'm mad if, at everyone. Let's tell more of those stories because it'll round out the other ones. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, next one. Uh, Chris and Nala. You've, okay, you've you've heard the song before, but I just, this is, I just, I we need to just listen to it because I love this song. She stole, she stole, she do the dollar stole. She stole, she stole, she do the dollar stole. She stole, she stole, she do the dollar stole. She stole, she stole, she do the dollar stole. I've got lyrics or subtitles. Yeah. That say she stole, she stole, <laughs> she threw the dollar stone. She stole, she stole, stole she, she threw, threw the, the dollar, dollar stone. stone. She, like, is what that, a, what are those the words? No, it's Nala. I've showed you the Nala stomp before. I know, yeah. She stomp, she stomp, she do the Nala stomp. Well, I, I honestly, it was adorable, but it was just, yeah. I was so taken aback by the Write fact the lyrics. that she stole and then she threw the dollar stone. Also, you can you can go in and change those. So he really needs to tweak those lyrics because those are not the words. Okay, we'll adventure with Nala can figure it out. Yeah, adventure with Nala. Anyway. Okay. I guess some videos don't need subtitles. <laughs> That's one of them. I don't know what the words are. In fact, you know the songs that everyone kind of just makes up their own words in their head? Yeah. Or even like the same-ish words in their mm -hmm, head? Mm -hmm. That might as well just be, it's, it's just golden retriever butt cheeks. And which are the best, the best bouncing. And for those who, that doesn't make any sense to, it's because you're on the audio, hop on over Oh yeah, hop on over there. Oh yeah, we forgot to say that. If you were on the audio side, obviously this portion of the podcast is better enjoyed when you can watch my dance to the Nala Stomp. Until Spotify offers this video, YouTube it is. <laughs>
All right. Okay, and then go to Insta360. Oh, this is my favorite one, I think. No. no. What? Babe, okay. I just want you to know. So what I love about this one is that- This wait. is what my brain does when I'm not busy. This is what my brain is doing. So okay. the funny thing about this whole thing is that it starts off with like, oh, this is like an old, a crotchety old man who loves like uh, uh, knickknacks and, and tools uh -huh. and like uh, he's quirky. Yep. And then it cuts to the whole, he's wearing a, a tight yellow mini skirt <laughs> with fringe to really sell the whole I'm a bumblebee thing. Yeah. Like I want to know how much time went into this man's piece of content. Cause I either want, I want two things. I want it to be well thought out. I want it to be drawn out. I want it to be a month long or I want it to be oh, this whole thing that I threw together. Nothing in the middle makes me happy. And then he found, he found a fucking field to frolic through. And just like the the audio, oh my God. I saw these 360 cameras are so funny. I saw this other guy who like did the same thing. He was like, I thought I was shooting a sick video with my basketball. And it's just like his nose in in just overhanging the whole shot. You can't even really see the basketball. These 360 cameras are so funny. What is content gonna be like in 10 years? I don't know, but this is the pinnacle of it right now. This is the, it, it only goes downhill from here. You wanna hear a very, really, really scary, also weird, like crazy fact. Remember Pokemon Go? Yes. You know, the whole thing and the whole part of that was that it was constantly recording and uploading whatever it was to- Shut create, the fuck up. To create a real time map of every part of like a, a well, like traveled city. That was like part of like the whole thing. It was like constantly updating so they can know like, okay, now this this corner has this year. It's this, it's just this like Whoa. this map of everything. Yeah. Why wow, you just get little fucking worker bees to go do your, your bitch work. Something like it. Yeah. Okay, and this is our finale. We, we are running on this one and it just, I just don't know if we'll ever find a better Tiki Talk than this one. If his name starts with J, better stay the hell away. Don't need no J's in your life unless his name is Jesus Christ. If he hits you on your phone, tell him leave your ass alone. If his name starts with J. You feel that way? <laughs> but we only, the only J we need in our life is Jesus Christ. Is that so? And on that note, good Amen. night, love you.